who we all know. And also, I want to introduce the sisters that came here from Holy Transfiguration and Holy Trinity. Uh, Holy Transfiguration is Elkot City. Elwood. In uh, not far from here, about an hour. And um, Mother Christophora is the abbess. And Mother Magdalena. And I would like to ask uh, uh, Mother uh, Ines to please uh, come and tell us a, a, a minute about your monastery in Guatemala and also about the mission of the coming to orthodoxy of the 48,000 Guatemalans. I think that's a very important. Uh <laughs> yes, please. Mother Maria is with her. They came from Guatemala. They were in Baltimore. And I, I know about this monastery because I have a cousin who goes uh, home now maybe uh, eight or nine years every year uh, to this monastery and works with the children. And I hear about it, and it's an incredible place. And we were just with her last week. <laughs> so we come in, and he tells us about, about her and said, oh, Sucarita. <laughs> uh, well, our monastery has been uh, since 25 years in Guatemala. But the church has uh, Orthodox people, Greeks, Russians, and uh, Arabs, mainly from uh, Holy Land, have been there since the end of the 1800s. But we only, the, the church was only organized when the monastery started. And now, to go to the point, there, uh, since about 15 years, uh, a big group, uh, two big groups of people have approached us that wanted to become Orthodox. And we've been walking with them. And then, uh, of course, when you have not been Orthodox from, uh, from birth, you don't know a lot of things about Orthodoxy. And you think it's the same thing. And so they said, well, it doesn't matter if we're Greeks or we're Antiochians or we're Russians or whatever. It's just windows to enter to orthodoxy. So they have been looking for, and one group has been already received into orthodoxy, their leaders. And they have already been ordained, the leaders, and uh, chrismated and made uh, archimandrites, archimandrites. So it's, um, <coughs> and then maybe you, know, you probably know Father John Chacos. Mm -hmm. Father John Chacos is coming to Guatemala with uh, the Zitera to help with them. Because he retired from Holy Cross, now he's going to Guatemala to help with, with them. They live, it's about uh, three hours from, the, from where our monastery is and where the orphanage is. And uh, I think we're talking about, uh, about 100,000 people, something like that that have been uh, on this path for uh, many years. And then there's another group that has not come in yet that is on its way also, and we think that that's going to happen soon too. So orthodoxy in Guatemala is growing, thank God. Thank you. Thank you.